question of one's identity and its permanence has always been a complex conversation. When I got older, I realized how much less of a Filipino I've become. I'm saying that because there is a lot of Filipino culture that I never got the chance to explore, experience, and understand. And one of them is our tattoo culture. There's a lot of negative connotation to having tattoos. At least in the Philippines, it's associated to criminal syndicate, gang activity back in the 70s, 80s. So people who are not open to tattoos see it in that form still. Para lang sa na, nasa bilibid. Pag may tattoo ka, parang criminal. Nagpatattoo ka, pagkamalan kang galing ka ng kolongan, nakapatay ka ng tao, ganyan. Ito yung ilugdukit ko sa wasya ko. Inka-inkari ka yan. Ilugdukit siya na. Ubi nga klain. Tan arang kaabon. Manghato ata. Tan manghato aawa. Kuarara. Manghato ata ugod malabhuam. Tattoo is a form of art. It's a form of expression. An affirmation of your belongingness to a certain tribe. People put a lot of value in those symbols. Our village and tradition wake up. Doon nag-open ang mga isip ng tao na tattoo pala, it is for beauty, for brave man. There were no roads yet going there. Simple lang ang buhay dito noon. Pamumuhay namin through uh, farming. Through punta sa buki, pangka, pangangahoy, a small community na magkakakilala. So dito, dito ako pinanganak. Ang layo isang bundok pero ito ay isang simpleng buhay. Pero nag-iba noong dumating nga ang uh, tourism. Tourists started to come in because we were writing about her in the newspapers. Through word of mouth, they've heard about this traditional tattoos and an old woman. And then of course, there's a lot of tattoo pilgrims going on since 2008 until now. Apu is the one who used to wake up our tradition as a tattoo artist, as a Mamba Batok, and that's her legacy. She's the master and the linkage to the old ways. She holds a lot of knowledge that cannot be directly passed on easily. The stature of Wang Ud, the materials that she used, the designs that she made, that's an epitome of that cultural practice. There are a lot of Phil Americans, Phil Canadians, who would like to make their identities permanent, so they get traditional tattoos from her. I think a lot of people that don't live in the Philippines anymore want to have something that reconnects them to their culture, that they can carry with them wherever they go. Kung babalikan natin, malaking tulong si Wang Ud, sa totoo lang. Malaking tulong si Wang Ud. Binabalik niya yung uh, pagiging uh, uh, makapilipino natin nung uh. I would like to continue the legacy of my grandmother because he's the one who teach me. I would like to continue the tradition so that all of the younger, all of the teenage girl, boy, they also learn to wake up the tradition. Important titan, siya important titan na siya do marasagot na matoya at matoya. Siya rin matsayan na important. Uya ito malamin tawid. Anon siya. At siya niba tinan na siya siya important. Our tattoo culture is set and will be preserved. Our quest, however, continues as we uncover what's hidden underneath the surface. From stolen ink mummified bodies, cultural appropriation, and our ongoing fight for cultural sovereignty. <laughs>